Hello. This video demonstrates how to plot points on the polar coordinate plane, as well as graph simple graphs. Before we do that, let's review what we know about the polar coordinate plane. This point, we normally, on our xy axis, say this is the origin. In a polar coordinate system, we refer to this as the pole. All right. I have a chart here showing positive uh, degrees and positive radians, which you should comfortably be able to go back and forth with. Okay, I know a lot of you like to use degrees only, <laughs> but you should be very comfortable with radians as well. So if I want to rotate pi over 3 radians, or 60 degrees, I would rotate in a counterclockwise um, direction, pi over 3. To get to this same point, that is the same as rotating negative 5 pi over 3 radians, or negative 300 degrees, right? Negative 1 pi over 3, negative 2 pi over 3, negative 3 pi over 3, negative 4 pi over 3, negative 5 pi over 3, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Again, you can see that here, right? In this case, I'm dividing it to 15 degrees, right? 15, 30, 45, uh, 60, 75, 90, right? So I'm rotating from standard position pi over 3 radians, rotating negative 5 pi over 3 radians to get to the same point. You should feel really comfortable going back and forth, as I've said. One student in class realized that if I want to rotate pi over 3 radians, the negative, if I just move down, right, the negative is 5 pi over 3. All right, and that is a nice way to see it, and that's a nice shortcut, but you should know how to, how to do that on your own as well through this, okay? Again, these will, without the signs, would add up to 360. I hope you would agree. Pi over 3 radians plus 5 pi over 3 radians is 6 pi over 3 radians, which reduces to 2 pi, or one full rotation. Okay, so let's look at graphing for, which refers to our radius, and the angle of rotation, in this case, pi over 3. So what this says is, and that, again, remember, that's a point, right? So that's this point right here. All right. So what that says is, I'm going to rotate from standard position, pi over 3 radians, and get to that point. All right. I could rotate negative 5 pi over 3 radians and get to the same point. Now, you've seen in class that we could go pi over 3, and go another 2 pi, right? So we could say that plus another 2 pi. So another way to talk about that same point is 7 pi over 3. All right, and I'm hoping you're able to add those two um, quantities, pi over 3 plus 2 pi. Now, what if I have negative 4? What that says is, what if I rotate all the way over here and go back 4? And that's where the negative 4 comes from, okay? So in that case, I'm rotating pi over 3 and another 180, another pi, correct? Or 4 pi over 3. All right, rotate 4 pi over 3 and go back 4, all right? If I want to rotate in a clockwise position, again, here's 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3, so you can say it's negative 2 pi over 3, okay? And similarly, we could 
rotate 4 pi over 3 and another 2 pi. Okay? So we could also say another 2 pi would be 10 pi over 3. All right? Rotate 4 pi over 3, another 2 pi, and go back 4. Okay? And similarly, I could rotate negative 2 pi over 3 and so go another 2 pi in the clockwise position. Right? So subtracting another 2 pi. And what does that give us? That gives us negative 8 pi over 3. And I understand this takes a little bit to get used to. So again, you need to practice this, okay? Often you will get a, uh, a, a point and you will be asked to represent the same point in maybe three or four different ways. Okay? Let's graph r equals 3. Now, remember, r represents the radius. So all that says is, this is going to be a little weird to do, I think, um, the way it works. Uh, I want to graph this, and let's see if that fits nicely. Almost. Let's bring it a little out more. All right, and all that says is that's going to be a circle with a radius of 3. No matter what angle we are rotating, the radius is always 3. So we're basically going to get the collection of all points for any rotation where the radius is 3. Okay? So not a problem. If I'm graphing theta equals a particular rotation, in this case, 5 pi over 6, this says, who cares what the radius is? The angle of rotation will always be 5 pi over 6. And what that's going to look like is, right? so rotate 5 pi over 6, and what we're going to have is a line. So no matter what my radius is, 0.5, 1, right, 3, the angle of rotation is 5 pi over 6. Now notice it's a line, so it extends forever in this direction and forever in this direction. That implies that if we go back here, another way to talk about the circle is r equals negative 3. Right? And I, again, I understand that distance can't be negative, but remember when we talked about this, right, negative 4 and positive 4, depending on the rotation, we either go forward or we go, we go forward or we go here and go back. I hope that makes sense that we can talk about a circle with radius 3 as r equals 3 r, or r equals negative 3. Okay, so once again, graphing theta equals 5 pi over 6 will result in a line that extends forever in both directions. Well, I hope that helps you um, understand a little bit more how to plot points on the polar coordinate system, as well as graph some nice simple graphs. Thanks for watching.